Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what's to come for today's video. It might be one day, it might be three, but I just felt like I would bring you guys along for my life. I do hope to do some Instacart today, hopefully. Uh, so I'll bring you along if I do that, but more fun. There's gonna be some cooking, new recipe I'm gonna try out tonight, which is always fun. And then I told you guys in the last video I was going to be practicing and learning to do some renovations around the house. I might start that today. And if not, hopefully tomorrow, but I wanna show you what I'm working with. This is a nightstand that we keep in the guest room. <laughs> Hi, Bubba, how's it smell? <laughs> um, we actually have another one in there, but I'm just gonna be doing one at a time. These are from Target, I think, like, literally years ago and they're nice and they're fine but we don't ever use them and i wouldn't be upset if it got ruined from me practicing on it so this is gonna be like my practice friend right here this will be number one and then depending on how that goes that'll be number two and i'm also thinking about using these to swatch the paints on that I'm trying to decide between for the bathrooms and kitchens and such. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I just know I'm gonna practice my sanding on it and then repaint it, but I don't really have paint. Um, I also have primer too, so I'll practice priming as well, but it's kind of fun. Speaking of fun things, look what just got delivered. It's an exercise bike. It's a little bit of a smaller one and it's supposed to be really easy to just fold up and put away when you're done with it. So so the way we're gonna use it this is mostly for Zachary he really really wanted one um, so I think what we'll do is like put it right here it's got a mess right now sorry but put it right here facing the TV like when we want to sit down and watch a show or a movie so he can kind of just use it while we're relaxing and then fold it up and stick it in the garage so it's not like permanent decor in the living room I kind of want to surprise him by getting it open and set up but I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna attempt it. Yeah, let's try to put this thing together. If you can't tell, I'm very much into like doing things myself, building things, changing things. That's like very much my mood right now. So also I just looked up electric sanders online and there's one at Lowe's for 20 bucks. So what I'm gonna do for this first nightstand is just use like the sandpaper that's just the paper and my hand and see how far I can get with that. And then maybe in about a week or so, I'll buy the actual electric sander, but that's enough chit chat. Let's try to build this big guy. You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind Come a little closer like that Staying up all night Throwing drinks by Blue eyes smiling while you're cursing I admit it's working Got everything unboxed pretty quickly but i just got an instacart order oh wow it's a double order and they're both new customers so i'm gonna go do this this was like my main goal for the day was to make a little bit of money so i'm gonna go do this and then we'll come back and we'll see what our next step is this is so fun got some broccoli head of cauliflower some organic raw cheddar cheese and some organic pasture raised cream cheese wow you guys today has not gone how i planned at all but it's made a turn for the best so i can't complain at all i did one instacart order the one that you guys saw me accept right before i left the house it was really small i made 11 dollars, and then i was texting my dad we planned dinner for friday and then he was trying to figure out a meal that i can eat with all of my new food restrictions so i ended up just going over to his house and we went to the store together and got some stuff 
which is why I have some stuff from Whole Foods too because I'm gonna be making a side dish, but I wanted to try it out before I serve it because it's gonna be us, me and Zachary, my parents, my brother, and my grandparents. So like, I wanna make sure it's good because I've never made it before, before I bring it over to them. And now I'm back home and it was a really good time. I love going to the grocery store. I think you guys know that by now, but also to like be able to do it with my dad and like show him new cool stuff I buy and then just chit chat. It was a really, really good time. So I'm not mad at all that I didn't get anything else done really today. But now it's 2.30, which means Zachary will be home very soon. And I still need to put this together, but I also haven't eaten lunch. So I'm kind of trying to debate, like, do I eat first? Do I get something like cooking while I do that? I don't really know, cause I don't think I have much left to eat right now. I'm gonna actually have a sparkling water. Do a strawberry bubbly. Do you guys like bubblies? Do you like LaCroix? Which sparkling water is your favorite? I don't like LaCroix, there's no flavor. I tried bubbly and I actually love it. I have strawberry and cherry, which are both really good. And I've had blackberry, which I liked too. Never tried a flavor I didn't like from them. And then I just bought these ones from Sparkling Polar. It's raspberry pink lemonade. It honestly tastes like LaCroix to me. There's like no flavor, so. Let me know what sparkling water you guys recommend. So this is the meal I'm making. I decided I'm gonna make it right now. I'm gonna get it started because I wanna roast the vegetables first. So I'm gonna get these roasting in the oven. Then I'll work on the bike. I'm also just gonna snack on a little bit of leftover salmon salad that I have in here, which is tuna salad, but with salmon. And honestly, it tastes just like tuna salad. Can't even tell that it's salmon. The only difference might be, maybe it's a little bit less fishy which I'm always a fan of. Promise I'll stop blabbering in one sec. But this is what I kind of whipped up for lunch, I guess. I had more salmon salad left over than I thought, so I just filled up these four like lettuce boats and made them into like lettuce wraps. And I'm gonna put some hot sauce on them. Yummy, yummy. But time to get these veggies chopped up and into the oven to roast. Yes, you are. Oh. <laughs> you can adjust the seat. I kind of left you guys hanging, but I finished the casserole broccoli rice thing. Um, it turned out pretty good, but it definitely needs more cheese and like some fresh garlic and other things. So I'm glad I did like the trial run before I cook it for my family, but I did still really like it. And then I made these stuffed mushrooms with goat cheese, spinach, walnuts, actually really good. So that was dinner. Look what came in. This is the little macrame plant holder thing I got for this little guy. Ah, uh, sorry plant, I feel like I'm hurting you. <laughs> What's up? I'm trying to figure this thing out. Obviously I'm gonna cut this part off, but. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. She's off, just feels crowded. You know what I mean? Does it look crowded to you guys? I don't know, I'm gonna put it down and stop messing with it. I just realized that I can't set it down because it's not a flat surface. And then when I set it down, this just falls over onto all the leaves. So I never should have put it in here in the first place. I love that for me. We'll try again tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. It's the next day and I'm officially in the garage. 
because I really want to get started on this nightstand. I truly don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. And like I said before, I'm not super worried about hurting it if it doesn't like turn out perfect. I think I'll probably only time, only have time to sand today. So these are the sanders I bought before for some picture frames, which I haven't posted that video yet, but it's coming hopefully within the next month or so. Um, but these are just like sponge sanders I bought. And then if I need it, which I hope I don't, I also have this sanding paper with three different grits on it. So I do have this as well in case I might need it. Now it's all just you got me on blast and you're over it. I've been done. We're so toxic, can't get enough. Oh, I'll go and say it like a mantra. You know what you want, do ya? Oh, hell no, I won't play the monster no matter. You guys, I feel like we're like halfway done because I think sanding is the hardest part of any project, honestly. We sanded her down, blew off a bunch of the excess dust, and then wiped it down with a damp washcloth to really get off any dust, dirt, debris, anything like that. So after sanding this side down, this was the top. Originally, you can see where there was a bunch of damage just from like water damage and just using it. There's like drink marks and stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is just reverse it and make the top be the bottom because it's literally symmetrical so it doesn't really matter next i'm gonna replace this plastic and do a bigger area so i can start pra spray painting the primer and this is a primer that i'm gonna be using i'm just kind of winging it and hoping i have enough but this is what i used when i redid my wood picture frames and it worked really well so i'm gonna be doing two coats of this and i don't really have a method to my madness because this is my first time ever doing a big project. So I don't know if I'm gonna do like top, 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 let it dry, do the bottoms, do the sides. I don't really know, but we're just gonna wing it, I guess. I should have known that we could, we could never be friends. I hear you just thought we could, but we could never be friends. Um, that did not go quite as planned. It's coming out pretty blotchy, but I'm hoping that because it's a primer, it'll be okay. So I just did the areas I could like easily reach. So I'll kind of walk you through it. I did the top and the bottom, but you see how they're like, you can still very well see the brown coming through. So maybe I'll be forced to do a second coat. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but looks like I probably will now. And I'll probably just update you guys once it's fully primed probably tomorrow. Good morning. It is officially day two of this renovation project and I finished the primer last night so I'm ready to move on to the color today, which I'm nervous about. I've already double primed the nightstand because I thought I was just gonna buy like regular paint, but the only paint I could find in a doable color is a paint and primer. So I don't know how that's gonna react to the already two coats of primer on there. Hopefully they're okay. Second reason is because I had my heart set on doing spray paint, but after seeing how poorly I did of spray painting the primer, I'm a little worried now that I don't really know what I'm doing with spray paint and the color might not do so well. And lastly, I hope I like the color. I had a different color in mind. I'll put on the screen here for you sold out at both Home Depot and Lowe's. So I ended up getting this color. It is called Matte Ink Blue, in case you wanted to know, from Krylon Fusion. And also, do you need to put a top coat on? I don't know. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a bird in the garage. What do I do? Oh goodness. No, get out. Thank you. It's not great. You can see all the lines and stuff I left with the primer. I'm hoping it won't matter because we're using such a dark blue color that, you know, the kind of uneven coloring here won't matter. And doing this in the garage has been proven to be difficult just because like there's debris and stuff everywhere. So even if I just leave the garage closed overnight, I come out here and there's like crap piled on. Like what is, how did this happen? There's like scratches on it. What from? I have no idea. I never moved it. I think we're just gonna get started. This is 
what it looks like with one coat. Um, it's still very wet in certain places, so I think it's showing like a little bit uneven. But I think this actually might work, you guys. I'm actually loving the color. It's coming off more purpley on camera, but it's very much like a true gray navy which is exactly what i was going for and i think only one coat is going to be necessary because i laid it on there pretty thick but i want to be extra careful this time around not doing too much at once so i think i'm going to let this layer dry completely before i do anything else because i just think i'll have a better spray reach if i'm able to move it around more and stuff but it's coming along i'm really liking it don't hate me you guys but i think what i'm gonna do because it's probably gonna take me a couple more days is finish this project in another video um I just don't want this one to keep dragging on and it's been a few days since I posted so I want to get this video out even though the project is not yet done. Just stay tuned, I'll finish it in the next video. Of course there will be other more fun stuff in that video too so I'm going to end this video and then get started on the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned so you can see the finished project. It'll also probably be posted on my Instagram so make sure you follow me there as well and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!